Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 6 for Leviathan campaign in Stellaris, so let's continue. So, our empire is slowly growing, the borders are already looking a lot better. I'm still not feeling very confident being right next to this guy, because apparently the tooltips actually says that his fleet power is superior, even though my naval capacity... Oh, at least we had our naval capacity reached, and we, I fully upgraded the fleet, but apparently it's still not quite enough. I know what we need, maybe we need to speed up our research or something. Might consider like building maybe some extra uh, science labs and just claiming more planets uh, with my construction ships. But yeah, I couldn't, couldn't really do it right now. What was the sound? Oh, no, that was weird. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's basically it. So why are you blinking? Uh, what I also should do, uh, apparently, for some reason, I thought that these guys are just being jerks uh, in this machine lathing. I thought we already had six robots, but apparently I only have four on my capital. Somehow I miscalculated. And what I want to do is go and build myself another one robot on uh, our newly established colony. It does have a tile with three minerals, so it's going to be a perfect uh, opportunity for a robot in there. So let's go and drop one here. Should definitely be quite useful, and, and we do have enough credits and minerals uh, to handle him, so should be pretty fine. Oh yeah, by the way, we, we still do have a couple of star systems inside our borders that, it, that we didn't had a chance to research because of the because of the freaking uh, pirates and aliens and everyone just roaming around. Epsilon minus in, in here is 700. Should we go and try to like research this Epsilon Mana thing? So what do we have? Investigate an unidentified empire. Epsilon Manus. Hmm. Let's go and queue a couple of these research projects. I know it's gonna slow down our research a little bit. Uh, but it might be worth it. So, our construction ship is working currently, I think, on... Uh, on the Frontier Outpost in the Orem system and this construction ship is done so let's go and queue you to get like push system it has pretty much everything so mining stations 450 okay uh, go and start with energy first oh then definitely take this one 6 research how could we go... How, how could we avoid that? Tia Naki, the spaceborne born life force which the elephant's head of the site's research has come to refer as Tia... Tia Naki are docile creatures capable of excessive some lower dimensions of subspace. Their roam uh, from system to system with remarkable ease. Okay. Hunting them would be a net loss anyway. Tech research option gained. Frequency tuning. Okay. Okay, I guess that's fine. Hunting them would be a loss. Yeah, we don't really have enough army to hunt them down, but they, they're they blocking me from colonizing this system. And it actually has quite a few planets, so it might have uh, quite a lot of valuable resources. But we would, we would not know if it's true or not until we kill them, unfortunately. Uh, oh, we do have unemployment on Bunda Prime. Hmm. How could we deal with that? Oh, why are you leaving? Migrating. You do have a working place. And where are you leaving? To Monbath Prime, to our new colony. Probably because of unemployment. Uh, so, okay, we're starting to lock food. It might be reasonable to just fill this free spot with, like, hydroponic farm. So let's go and do that. It's gonna be a working spot for, uh, for the pop, and it's also gonna help with the food situation. Um, okay, what are you working on? You are working on a uh, furniture outpost, right? Yes, you are. Great, thanks for that. Uh, next thing you're gonna do is go and build me an FT or uh, a furniture outpost. But this thing, a wormhole station. And we're gonna continue researching in this direction. And probably expanding as well. Mm, okay, it didn't reach Porobim, unfortunately, but maybe, maybe with time. 
Uh, what is that? A thousand pirates. Yeah, that's that's dangerous. It's extremely dangerous. Uh, how's this guy doing? Finishing some constructions on this thing. Why are we still dropping on the amount of energy credits we are producing? Probably because of the stuff you're getting constructed on the colonies and stuff. Oh, yeah. This hydroponics farm finished extremely quickly. Sure, let's go and upgrade you as well. This guy's still emigrating for whatever reason. Or m migrating. Uh, could we clear out any tiles? No, we have not gotten the technology yet. Okay. Anything we could do in our capital? We could upgrade some of these hydroponics farms. Or at least one. Mm, we don't really need to. We have enough food right now. Might consider building more laboratories everywhere. How's Monbot doing? Have you gotten any extra pops from migration? Yeah, this guy migrated here. Okay. Uh, let's go and get you a... A basic power plant. If you're already staying on this energy credit tile, you might as well get some extra credits for us. I think on Bunda we have quite a few tiles that could produce research. Or at least, yeah. Couple more. So let's go and build... Let's go and build you... Two more uh, basic... Basic science labs. Hopefully boost up our science and maybe get ourselves like an advantage against this guy because he's our rival. Uh, superior. They are stronger than us, for fuck's sake. That's really not great. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I think I've queued an upgrade of my spaceport. I definitely did. But it still doesn't seem to make much difference. Oh, I could get some modules. Corvette assembly yard. Corvette build speed plus 25. Corvette build cost minus 10. Uh, considering that I'm mostly just building Corvettes, it might not be a terrible decision to have. Mm. Now let's not do this. We don't really need to build much Corvettes right now, so I'm just going to queue two extra. Maybe, maybe in the future we're going to have a specialized Corvette. Corvette built in place. Mm. Okay, you're you're done in here. And we're lacking minerals again. Okay, Monobot Prime, you finished with what? You finished with this sink. Okay. Could not unfortunately upgrade it because of lack of minerals. Yeah, we should be we should be claiming more mineral spots. Apparently. Everywhere. Um uh, Okay, you're not busy in here. Go and build me two more mining stations. Mm -hmm. And there goes our wormhole station. So, more work for our science ships. Continue surveying everything. And hopefully I now find myself a suitable place for uh, colonizing. Because I think we could pop up one extra colony ship. Like right now. And it shouldn't be too much of a problem for us to sustain it. Mm, how's general research doing? Okay, we almost finished some of the stuff. Nice. After burners. Uh, building build speed, plasma thrusters, spaceport level 3, and destroyer ship. Hmm. Destroyers. Interesting. Oh, and yes, it's actually your specialization, so sure. Let's go for the... Oh, excuse me. It's probably sounded loud. Let's go for the destroyer type ship. Maybe it's gonna help our. Maybe it's gonna help us advance our uh, fleet power, because this guy seems scary. And having having superior four right on our border, who is also our rival, is probably not the greatest of ideas. Okay, this guy have migrated. Is a little bastard. Um. I guess we're just gonna take this pop and place you on the science spot instead of minerals. Um, by the way, have we finished another one robot? We have! And now these guys are actually happy. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we've been building you on Monbot, right? We... Uh, okay, we haven't finished it, but... 
They are already happy. That's weird. I don't know, that's fine. Um, maybe maybe the one under construction still counts. Probably. So, got ourselves some extra naval capacity. I think I'm not gonna be building corvettes yet. Maybe, maybe we're gonna wait for the destroyer technology to finish and then get ourselves a couple of destroyers. If there's gonna be any any useful, I'm not entirely sure what their use is. Or what's the difference even without, uh, between these uh, ship types. What are the benefits of having ones or the others? Mm. By the way, why is our energy credit rating is so low again? What have we started building? I know. Unemployment on our capital planet. Okay, looks like we need to build something in this spot. Um, and by the way, adjacency effect, mineral food energy credits. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I think what would be reasonable to build is just another power plant. Maybe any unique buildings? Autohon Monument produces two unity. Having extra units, I think it's not a terrible idea as well, so sure. Let's go and get you one of these monuments. We don't have any of them. By the way, we are full on influence again. I guess time for more frontier outposts. We've done, uh, finished naval capacity. Awesome. Unlock commons. Energy siphon. Modeled after peculiar biological process. Energy siphon. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Tile block clearing. Tile block clearing. Bio lock. Bio lab. Mm. Let's go for clearing tile blocks. We have quite a lot of this kelp sink. So we might as well go and try to get rid of some of it. Um uh, Okay. Yeah, go research some extra anomalies. All of the sand ships are busy, right? Right. But not all of the construction ships are busy. So go to Orem and build me all the mining stations in here. Next thing. Research. Basic combat rolls. Okay, that should hopefully improve combat ability for our ships if I, if I were to upgrade them. So, what is that? Survey speed plus 15, automatic exploration. Might be useful. And UV lasers. Okay, assist research. Mm, what is that? Allows our science ship to assist with the research on a colony. Physics, science and engineering output. Oh, that's probably when your science ship doesn't have anything else to do. Oh, that might be useful. Let's go and queue this thing up. And now, could we upgrade our ships? We definitely can. Is it gonna upgrade their power output? Or their military power? Construction complete. Uh, governor gained trade. Environmental engineer. Okay. Uh, have you upgraded yet? Looks like you're still doing it. Hand probe the frozen landscapes of the moon Minokfu. We find we have stuck something big. Okay, speaks of bacterial life form like any other. Find out if it can improve energy production. Try and find a military use. Uh, let's go and try to find military use, to be honest. Uh, okay, these guys are still upgrading. Our military development research have made progress with the samples we sent from this place. Tech research option gained deflectors. Okay. That's nice, I guess. Mm. Oh, the upgrade of these guys actually taking a long time. And they did indeed got a military power upgrade, not as much as I would like to have, but that's something. And we're back to equivalent. Okay, so uh, the the weapon race, or whatever you could call it, is kind of working with these guys, but I would really like to have, to have more powers than them. Uh, by the way, we're losing energy credits, and pretty quickly for some reason. Mm. Okay, we have one extra... Construction ships that is not doing anything. Could you claim any resources anywhere? Could get some on Yuman. Someone got me go and get me a mining station here. And I think yeah, I think we would need to have another frontier outpost soon. Uh do I pay uh for frontier outposts? 
in maintenance. I think I do. The frontiers of our empire. Yeah. Uh, or maybe... Maybe I don't have any maintenance on them. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, how's our research? Okay, the destroyers are still quite far from being finished. Surveys are being worked on. Looks like no colonizable planet still visible. Have encountered some form of alien Eta menace. Okay. Yeah, talking about menace and stuff. We do have couple of investigations uh, available in here. It's only gonna take three months. Sure, let's go and just queue a couple more of these ones. Considering how cheap and quick they are. Uh, oh, we could upgrade this space lab. Yes, we probably should. Actually, we don't have access to bio labs yet, unfortunately, so let's not upgrade this one. But we could get an engineering facility for you. So let's do that. Mm. Have we finished the monument on our capital? Yes, we have. And these guys are happy to work on it, apparently. That's nice. Uh, more people join in the technology anomaly. faction. I guess it's fine. Yeah, go research the anomaly. The reports of strange free-floating crystal-like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. Crystalline enters the observation or breaks them apart. Uh, I'm not really that sure in our fleet, so let's go and try to... Let's go and try to... Uh, research them first. And this guy finally reached level 5, so that actually should allow me to start working on all of these Cybrex projects. So I guess I'm gonna wait for him to finish... Um, finish the investigations. Oh, by the way, hello there. There's a Gaia world ready for uh, harvest. We should probably try and reach it. Uh, but does have... Oh, look at the amount of this shit. Two, three, four, like 5,000 aliens in there. That's crazy. Um, gigantic skeleton, what was previously thought to be a, uh, assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere, having been identified as a massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien. Cool. Okay, uh, my construction ships are not doing anything, by the way. Any more money you could claim somewhere? Does not look like it. But we're currently losing money, so need to do something with that. Uh, could we build any more uh, power stations, or whatever they're called, anywhere in here? Uh, oh, we could level up. We could level up you. Level you up to planetary administration, sounds great. We've got a basic power plant in here already. And yeah, couldn't really build any other ones. What about Bunda? Need to... Clear some of the styles. Hopefully in the future. Okay, and we actually have access to another one. Think. Should I be finishing domination right now? Maybe I should try to use something like uh, for the short term. Like no supremacy. Prosperity. There is no better indicator of the success of failure of star nations and the strength of its economy. Ship cost reduced. Private colony ship. Ship upkeep. Builds an upkeep. Okay. Diplomacy expansion. New colonies start with new with one pop. Extra unity. Finisher. Ad uh, adopt an all expansion. Increase our core sector system. Expansion might be also quite useful. I'm looking for expansion and like supremacy. I think these ones are gonna be reasonable in terms of our like cosplay. Uh, hmm. So supremacy. Border range plus 20, fire rate plus 15, ship building speed, naval capacity, army damage. Oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely gonna be useful. Okay, let's go for supremacy for now. We're not gonna be finishing domination yet because we don't really have anyone to uh, to integrate yet. So, bit better, like, bit better go for firepower now, considering that we have this guy on our uh, border. And he is considered superior again to us. Okay, mm. yeah, we're losing money right now. Hopefully we're gonna be able to deal with that. Uh, and this science ship, this level 5 scientist, is actually 
uh, free. So let's go and send you to start working on this uh, on this research project. I real I'm really curious about this uh, this whole cyber thing because I think it should allow me in the future to become robots, aka reapers. Or not become, but at least create them, and then, I don't know, <laughs> harvest all of uh, their creators. Might be quite fun to have, right? Um, by the way, how's the research going? 12 months until we're gonna get a destroyer, and soon we're gonna be able to clear this kelp thing. And we actually have quite a lot of kelp on, like, Bunda and other places which might be useful. Through our source of Habitable Worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien forms. And the Habitable Worlds survey event chain, society 500, and energy credits 400. Okay, that's quite a lot of research. research Sense for that, assist research, cool. What's the next thing you have? Planet fortification, unlock deflectors. Uh, Sentinel point defense, plasma throwers, improved assist research. Hmm... Sentinel point defense. That's probably been mounted on like uh, military bases, so it's not really that useful right now. What about deflectors? What amount of uncommon damage, blah blah. I think that might be useful for upgrading our ships, so let's go and get this research done. And society. Also need to be cute. Growth time minus 10. Orbital hydroponics. Clearing volcanoes. Let's go for growth time. Let's go start growing even quicker. So, now we could like queue clearing of some tiles on Bunda because I think we're pretty much landlocked in here now. So, let's go with like this one. Because we could we could uh, have use of some of these energy credits for sure. Uh, yeah, go and research this anomaly. Not gonna be against that. Do we have any help on like capital? No, we don't. So we don't really need to touch that. And what about Monboth? I think Monboth still have space to grow. Yeah, certainly does. Mm. The dead aliens we found above Palestia 1 all died from vacuum exposure and each individual had the barcode. The cybers were known to laser onto the skin of organic captives. Okay, engineering research plus 150, cybers artifact recovered plus 1. Cool. Cybers are basically doing what I meant to do, uh, like enslave all the other races, which sounds pretty great, but for now it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys, so I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next episode, so if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, definitely do it, and I would answer as soon as I could, see you later, guys, bye-bye!